Hi, so I am an elementary assistant principal and I'm going to show you how we use Staff Notebook um, to be more efficient with teachers and feedback and organization. So I work in collaboration with our building principal and we use our Staff Notebook mainly to give teachers feedback but also to share information between the two of us. So if you look on the left hand side, um, your Staff Notebook will come with you know, the welcome page, the collaboration space, the content library, and the leader only section. And our particular OneNote is um, a result of creating a building teams and anyone that you add to the teams um, will have their own section in OneNote that only the team owners and that individual can see. So it's really nice to start with teams and then uh, use the OneNote that is created from that rather than creating a staff notebook and then going back and creating um, a Teams. Even if your staff is only familiar with OneNote and you're not ready to use Teams, then you could just use the OneNote in isolation and begin to use the Teams as your staff begins to be more comfortable with it. Um, so the collaboration space, just basically any channel that we have within Teams has their own section of the staff notebook and that's what's listed here. Um, so fifth grade has their notes uh, and they, they take those notes in their section of Teams and, it, and all, the, all of those notes are listed here. Just one easy way to access all of that. The content library, we don't really use all that much because we are using Teams. So we don't at this present time feel the need to store anything in the content library because we have folders and sections of Teams that include all of our documents, all of our schedules, and just everything for teachers and staff to be able to access all in one place. I can do a Teams video for admin, you know, at a different time and show you how we use that. The leader only section is visible only to the team owners. So the, um, the building principal and myself are the only ones that can see that leader only section. And we use this part just kind of for taking notes back and forth uh, between, between the two of us. We used it quite a bit in the summertime. We went, you'll see, we went to a reading conference in July and, um, I've kind of highlighted some things. It's looking a little funny here. So I've kind of highlighted some, some ways that I used it during that conference. And as you can see, this was just a, um, a handout that was given that I took a picture of. And so you can kind of see, excuse me, the notes that I took right here before I had taken the picture of it. And I thought, oh, I'll just snip, you know, take a picture of it and stick it in OneNote. And then once I stuck it in OneNote, I took a picture on my phone and added it to OneNote. And so then once I did put it in there, then I used it on my laptop and I typed in notes. So that's what you'll see here is this is just the blank sheet with my notes typed over it. Over on this side, sorry, I don't know why it's looking a little wonky right about here, but don't worry about that. Over on this side, you'll see I in, inserted an audio recording. Um, and you just really go to the insert tab to do that and you can record um, you know what the speaker is saying sometimes I've recorded you know teachers have held Socratic seminars and maybe they want to play those back and hear what the students are saying so I've put that in their feedback um, that I've given them so they could play that back either for themselves or for the students it's not you know evaluative for me um, but this particular speech that this the speaker was giving about reading logs I felt was really interesting so I recorded that and stuck that in there and then this photo was just one that I thought would be great to take back to the building so that's just one way that you could use that leader only section to take notes uh, back and forth it's pretty useful use it also at our monthly principal meetings we get tons of handouts during that time and I just take a picture of the handouts and I use the draw um, I use my OneNote on an iPad, so I use the draw and my pen to uh, take notes, but if you have a Surface, then the Surface has a pen as well. Otherwise, you could do what I did at the conference when I didn't have my iPad, and that would be to type in, um, type in the notes after you've taken a picture maybe on your phone. So that's just kind of how we use it as administrators between ourselves, but I feel like the most powerful way that I use the staff notebook on a day-to-day -day basis would be for teachers, communication between teachers and I. Um, so this particular teacher, I'm going to show you just a, a few examples of some ways that it's it's used. It's not specific to this teacher. I just kind of did a mashup because teacher feedback and evaluation is all, um, you know, private. So 
I use the classroom observations tab just to for um, you know daily monthly you know weekly walkthroughs however often you go into the classroom the first thing that I do is I title that particular page with the date so that would let me know how often I have been in the classroom because this is just an example it's you know looks like I never go in this classroom um, but if you uh, are able to see an actual teacher you'll see that I get in about twice a month roughly just kind of depending on what's going in and on in the building so that's just a really easy way for me to be able to see that by titling it with the date um, so I will give teach provide teachers feedback I might provide them with um, you know something that they have said with a little quote from the lesson this right here is um, we use cell 5d and so I you know tagged which indicators this teacher um, you know teachers actions kind of covered in the rubric and then I just do a really fun thing of inserting stickers just because it's fun I you know that's the elementary teacher at heart for me Another way that I use the, and so you can see up here, the insert tab where you can insert all of those things, camera, audio. Uh, another way that I use the insert tab would be to insert a photo of the teacher teaching or uh, the students, the students, you know, working in a group. Um, while the teacher may be across the other side of the room, I'm able to sit with some students. So I might take a picture of what happened when I was sitting with, with students. Plus, I don't know, I feel like for teachers, it's always, nice to get a picture of themselves teaching. I don't know <laughs> if my teachers agree or not, but they get one just about at least once or twice a month and I haven't had any complaints yet. The other thing that I often insert is the teacher um, rubric. So depending on which criterion the teacher has chosen for their evaluation, then I will insert just a screenshot of the rubric and take notes over on the side and then, you know, if a teacher wants to, they could go back and they could circle, you know, wherever they felt like, you know, that that particular feedback fell on the rubric. Um, I let teachers know that's just for this um, this classroom visit, not overall. You know, I might only be in there 10 or 15 minutes. So this is just my feedback and I don't always, you know, circle on the rubric where they are. I leave that, you know, up to them and, you know, having a discussion later on. And some oftentimes teachers will um, it's still doing that funny thing. Sorry about that. Um, but oftentimes teachers will then after I leave them feedback, then they will provide me with photos or notes of things that happened after I left to kind of answer the questions that I have given or that I provided to them. And I really appreciate that use of OneNote because um, again, I can look at this at any time and say, oh, okay, that's what happened or that's where um, that particular teacher was going with that. So I really like that two-way um, form of communication. The next section, if you look over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna go down to where it says evaluation. And so I use the evaluation section um, for our formal um, observations and notes. So classroom observations is informal and the evaluation section I use for formal. And so at the beginning of the school year, I have teachers kind of circle um, where they feel that they are. They do a self-evaluation and I have them, um, you know, scan and email that or sometimes teachers just stick it in my box. Um, I could do it electronically, uh, but you just have to really gauge where individual teachers are and their level of comfortability with technology. And oftentimes I find that they do want to do the paper um, self-evaluation, which is fine with me because I just take a picture of it, put it in one note, and I actually just recycle the, the, um, the physical copy of it. And so just stick that in there. And then after a formal observation, I'll leave some debrief notes. I'll let them know that the notes are in, the questions are in OneNote and they can look at them before they come to their post-observation meeting or, uh, or we'll just discuss them while they're there. And so that's how I use that evaluation tab. The last tab that we have is the other tab and that's where I keep the copy of their rubric so I can just quick copy and paste it in there depending on you know which which criterion that they've chose and this is also a section where teachers can go back and you know I might not be in their classroom for a really cool lesson and so this particular teacher um, you know took a picture 
of, uh, of the board on Read Across America Day, explained some of the work that she was doing, and then also took a video on her phone and then put that video inside so I could just click on that video and watch, and it's a video of some students discussing the questions that were right here. Um, and you know, our focus as a building is student talk, so it was a video of students talking. So we use OneNote in some really powerful ways. So if you have questions, by all means, feel free to reach out.